only play <laughs> with friends. There was a guy in my class in school. I don't know why I remember this, but he said, the guy who voices Mario lives in the pink house like a <laughs> <laughs> he said it like that. Why? Why? What's the pink? Know. What's the pink? What? He, he said he lived in a pink house. Like, <laughs> was that like true or? I don't know. Not the second part, but like the the initial. Cl why? I don't know. I don't know why you'd even retain that information. Is this just something? And get that... angry about it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, he spat on you. He spat on me because he found out my house was pink. <laughs> Do you think Miyamoto has like an evil brother called Miyamo Finger? Miyamo Finger? Miyamo Finger versus Toe. Oh, yeah. I, okay. I, That's the funniest fucking joke. Uh, what is unsubscribe? Okay. What do you have to say to me? <laughs> what? What? No, this guy. Grab a flower stem and shake. Oh. Uh, you oh. Know what? They're actually really cute. Whoa. This plays a little bit weird with a pro controller, but. Yeah, the way you're constantly rotating it in your hand, you feel like a doofus. I never and, feel and, like a doofus. And look like one. And kind of smell like one. What and is you smell like one to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that's gotta be like the most insulting sense to imply that someone's lacking in. Smell? Yeah. Like you can't smell? Like, no, just being like, fuck, you stink, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be called ugly or told that you stink? Uh, stink because you can wash and not stink no more, but you can never not be ugly. You can't, you can't get rid of your ugly. <laughs> but you know something? You know what I learned? What? I learned that our ugly features are actually what makes us special, and we should celebrate them. It's from the it's Garbage not... Pail movie. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they're told. They're like, we're ugly and no one likes us. And then this guy's like, your fantastic features are to be celebrated. So and he then, just lies to the kids? Yeah, he, he, it's easy for him to say he looks normal. <laughs> it's like, that's like Sail Cat from uh, Cow and Chicken where he's like, Don't worry, cow! Everyone likes you because you're big and fat and ugly! <laughs> Go with it! Cow and Chicken had some really fucking insanely funny parts. Oh, she's gonna reproduce with Mario! Is she beautiful? <laughs> That's the debate in the comments. <laughs> is she? <laughs> Everyone's questioning. This was a fun episode, but seriously, is she beautiful? It's like that Laurel Yanny thing. Half of the people see a big fat bee, and the other half see a beautiful woman. Lyle, bee anatomy. The clit's on the chest. Go for it. Ugh. Ugh. Mama <laughs> Don't touch that big oh, pink it's lump. it's so stinky. Oh. I cannot oh. control my carnal desires. She's human enough oh, to fuck. Oh, this is oh, creepy. She, That's she's, the ticket. You're climbing all- Oh, there was oh my one god, she just said that feels good! Yeah. This rocks. Sting her on her- on her stinger. Can you sting stuff? She's giving me a lot of free reign to just fucking crawl around anywhere I want. <laughs> you're muff diving to the extreme. <laughs> I am! Yeah, let's just- let's just do this for the next half hour. Let's creepily talk about it and dwell on it for way too long. <laughs> just saying, it'd be really funny if she showed her feet. I don't know, I don't think that's funny anymore. Don't tell me you're turning your back on feet jokes. Is this the first appearance of Captain Toad? I- I guess. Captain Toad shoots a load. Captain Toad shines that light right in Mario's eye and gives him little blotches on his vision. <laughs> You've destroyed my so That's it? You go all that way just for Toad to hand you a star? You know, he's like, if you find me, you just get a star. I want a Mario game where it's like... more realistic art. Like, he, he actually looks like a real man. And he's big. He's six foot two. But Mario and Mario Odyssey is seen hanging out with actual real six I foot know, two men. I know, but he's man. still a bullshit cartoon for babies. I want to see him with like... chin stubble... and like moles. I remember having a dream when I was in like first grade about what like a mature Mario game would <laughs> be like. You dreamed about, oh, I wonder what real Mario would look like. Yeah, it was like right when the trailers to the movie had come out and like my brain pieced together this weird hybrid of that and the original game. I would love a fucking or Metroidvania like, of the Mario movie. Just imagine Mario looking normal and then he gets the mushroom and then turns into this giant photorealistic man. And <laughs> And he's trying to walk through the level, and he's just like smashing through blocks. Like that's what was happening in my dream. So that's wait, you think that funny. a normal guy would be stronger than Mario is? Yeah, I could easily. F well, Mario's pretty thick though. He's got a thick neck, and he can't be hung. Like he Danny can't DeVito. be hung. Yeah, you can't hang him. You can't execute him by hanging. His neck's too thick. <laughs>
Okay, so Bob Hoskins Mario, imagine that's the new game. You get to play as Bob Hoskins and he's five foot nine, right? Then he eats the mushroom and now he becomes like Super Bob Hoskins. He's got like Hulk proportions. He turns into Smee. Smee? <laughs> <laughs> that's just the only other Bob Hoskins character I could think of. He does seem kind of normal sized, huh? <laughs> What do you think of the Mario movie? The Bob Hoskins one? I just remember it like profoundly upsetting me as a kid. I, I used to love it as a kid. I was kid. gonna say, I, I, was, I was gonna like it no matter what when it came out. I honestly think it, it would be a fun movie if they just changed a few things. There's, there's some things that are too stupid, but besides that I think it's like a fun little location and everything's all fucked up. Lyle, you didn't like the fungus? Okay, so... Do you want to try the, hitting a, a, the, oh. a little bit of context is I didn't know that the Mario movie existed as a child <laughs> and uh God do I have to explain blockbuster for this story to make sense Blockbuster video was a store that existed <laughs> probably before you did because I'm old and dying where you could rent movies on like I think VHS most people cassettes. in our in our demographic know what a blockbuster okay, is. Okay, fair. But anyway, uh they would just put the VHSs in these kind of unmarked things that would just say the title of the movie and just have like a little blockbuster logo. So you had no idea what the contents of the movie actually were past the title. Uh. So I saw Super Mario Brothers, I expected it to kind of like, you know, look like this. <laughs> and then it was like just this weird fucking Blade Runner movie. It's funnier than... Which, which, wow. I, I was like three or four, so it, it kind of like super upset me. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> So Mario's there, he is spregged and long-legged. <laughs> he looks you right in the eye. You're four years old, and he says, Young Chris, you are <laughs> destined to become a Let's Player! <laughs> how, how much of that, of your developmental years, does that ruin? I don't think he had any context when he was four that's of what a, a Let's Player was. That's something you absolutely would remember, though. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, like it, uh, Im imagine yourself not not knowing if you were gonna be successful or not, just having gazed a crystal ball into the future and just being told you're you're destined to be a let's player. <laughs> that would change you. You you would assume that that was a message from like God. What yeah. are these? I think that yeah, the Crusades were actually waged over a similar scenario. <laughs> Yeah, where Mario said to like the Pope something about being a let's player. Yeah, I think I think the Pope <laughs> said that if you become a, a let's player, you get into heaven, and that's how the Crusades began. I hate you, Pope. You <laughs> ruined my life. Wait, how do I get up there? Also, that does that. Okay, yeah, you just Chris, you just you can't, walk you're around. You can't say mean things about the Pope. Oh wait, I guess wait. Yeah, they they have like you're a Irish thing. Catholic and they're Roman Catholic, so there is a difference, huh? No, no the Irish love the Pope. Oh, yeah. the Irish do like the Pope. Although in Ireland they have something like you know Krampus is like anti Santa Claus. They have like an anti the Pope who comes and uh, <laughs> if you say bad things about him, he they comes a, into your room at a, night. They and... have a Prampus. <laughs> yeah, a Prampus, a Popus, a Popus. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, you you just have to go up the hill. I know. I'm just trying to like see if I could be cool. Hope is for Smash Fuck! 5. I oh, did you it. did it! I'm a legend. Everyone thinks you're good. What are we doing right now? Is it, we, we just turned on the console after two weeks of not doing this. Why are, are these can... bees being such little shits? Um, he feels no pain. He's never felt pain in his entire life. Ooh. There you go. Oh, and yeah. then you attack when you're in that. But I'm exploring at my own pace! Okay. <laughs> I'm exploring at my own pace! Look what you did! There might be something cool back here. You can't blame me for that. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can't blame me for what, I, what you just did right there. What you done just done did. What you did. What you did. What, what you done just just said to me was high treason. I would hate to live in this beautiful vista and just always know that there's a horrible black hole down there. Yeah, yeah. It, it would make you really make the days count, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? A friend. I don't think so. A you foe. know what to do. That was crazy hard. Kill him! Fuck you, damn thing. Oh, you Those just... guys are always invincible, huh? Oh yeah, I guess so. I think he can jump on his soft skull while he's upside down and he'll die. But oh, now, now he's, he's, now now he's, he's just angry. angry. <laughs> I'm fucking scared! Yeah, once he's angry, he's definitely invincible. Whoa. Alright, this is getting a little weird. 
Wait, is, can you go inside that? Oh no. Inside these little IKEA spoof stick boxes. What? No Mario. Spoof sticks. Mario, do the side jump like you used to. Why are you turning? Your wound stinkles and your yeah. I don't know. I so I've been playing a little bit of this, and I gotta say Mario controls a lot better in Sunshine. I think. That's what I've been hearing. Yeah. On the boob tube. It's it's not untrue. My dad was watching the boob tube. He turns to my mom. You know they're saying Mario Sunshine controls a lot better than Galaxy. Oh Mitchell, <laughs> you can't believe everything you hear on the TV. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. But no, I, I I do think it's true. I mean, I, I think it's not fair to compare it to something like Odyssey, but Sunshine came first. You're right. And uh, this came second. That's my analysis. Biting, isn't it? That was Wait, a really You're on cool... the Dr. Seuss hat now. That was a cool video essay. Uh, my video essay, Mario Galaxy, was it really what it was made out to be? Was it really a galaxy, though, if you really think about it? Galaxy implies you get to explore... Like galaxies, and that would just take years. Months, even. Well, I mean, you just have to be in one galaxy, which, to be fair, all Mario games take place in just yeah. a single galaxy. Also, yeah. if you take into account the fact that Mario is 49 feet tall and runs at 160 Ooh, miles per hour, <laughs> he could get through it a lot faster than you or I. I'm invisible. Yeah. I feel it. Oh, oh this rocks. Power. God, I love it. Yeah, I'm invincible. Fuck you. <laughs> he just breaks <laughs> a million pieces. That was a little bittersweet. Yeah, Mario is gonna really have to Ooh, kill like, that guy. Yeah. That's gonna give him a drinking problem. Thinking about that, <laughs> he didn't mean to do it. <laughs> oh, you went into the tower. What? Oh no, you're mis missing him. You're moosing. Was I supposed to go? You, I think so. Yeah, I think you'd go in the right way. I see that beautiful babe. This level's really that long. That babe you crawled all over. Fuck you, little bee. Huh. Yeah. Uh. Whoa, look at that thing. What's that? I bet you're supposed to stomp his back. Yeah, he's got the all too familiar thing. There you go. That made me feel very murderful. What's that star? Uh, that, or that gives mushroom. you a second oh, little health dingle. Whoa! Whoa! That's kind of nice. Haha. <laughs> you never stood a chance. Okay, Tomar, Mario Trivia Hour. Start. Um, like ask a trivia question or tell you Mario Trivia? Tell us Mario Trivia about Princess Peach. Her dress is... extra... thick? When... she... faces... north. Yes! I <laughs> <laughs> go, Luke! Ah! Haha, uh -huh. double death. Oh my god, my child uh -oh. is dead! You enraged it! I don't yeah, blame you, it! You murdered his baby. Ah! It, since it, it probably corresponds to the same rules as the other thing. You probably can't uh -oh. hurt it while it's red. Nah, I'm sure you can. I'm just being stupid. See? Ooh. You, you enrage it. Was that really the whole mission was to murder that thing's child, <laughs> followed I, by it? I guess, yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. Just that, that <laughs> slightly larger than comfortable bug. <laughs> that was fucking horrible. Okay, Princess Peach... Lives... Inside... Herself. <laughs> <laughs> she just like squats. A comically large version of herself, or...? <laughs> Wouldn't you? She shoves her head up her pussy. <laughs> That's how she goes to bed at night. That's, that's just, where she goes she to bed. She just think. ascends into a giant <laughs> her. Um, she stands between the legs and just... Am I supposed to feed this idiot? She says, I must ponder on this. She goes into... You don't need to he feed him, He no. seems to like it. He likes it, but there's no there's no reason to do it other than that he likes it. That I'm is a new galaxy. Click that new galaxy. What, Mario? It's get the, the other button. It throws you for a loop. Really? It really does. <laughs> Oh, the loop, I, it throws you through a loop to loop. I wish, I wish that was planned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off we go. Are you ready to do some motion control oh, related? Oh, no, really? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I'm so lazy though. My fat chicken wings are weighing me down. Okay, let's talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Race surfing isn't so easy, so listen to what Coach has to say. This is Coach? That's Coach Peng. Is it really? I'm a surfer. That's what I'm calling him. Oh wow, look at me go. 
Oh god. This does not feel good at all. <laughs> this feels horrible. Oh, welcome to hell. Ugh. Well, I'm trying my best. Does the amount of coins you get even matter? Probably it not. matters to someone. But to us, probably not, no. Let's just get this dang star! Oh, I said good luck. That's For our nice. excellent surfing prowess. And get out of here. How come the water is just like floating in this formation? Hmm? It is kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Extra <laughs> life! Oh, go, go! Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh. This music horrifying. Some flautist died recording this. <laughs> <laughs> you can just imagine them like like gasping for air <laughs> at the end of one of those flute solos. The waves it makes is throwing me off. It's crazy. Iwata got a comically large mallet and chased the flautist around the room oh. to get the, the intensity and in the performance. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's very method. <laughs> it's very meth head? Method. It's kinda of sacrilegious. <laughs> if doing oh. meth gets you into hell. It does. Then, good. <laughs> did I do good? Yeah, you did better than whatever they said the record was. Yeah, you did better than any penguin who's ever attempted it. I deserve a gold medal! You Probably sure just do. by virtue of your human brain. Yeah, exactly. Imagine if some weird alien came to Earth and just won every Olympic. <laughs> That's essentially what's happening here, and they're not even, like, weirded out by it. They're not like, is he allowed to compete? They're just fine giving you the gold medal and saying that you're the best country. I was thinking about that kind of concept recently where if an alien came down and they were perfect at literally everything, including being like super funny off the top of their head and stuff, humans would just hate the fuck out of them. You they, think they would? They would? Humans would get super offended that such a perfect race exists. We like, just no. get space jealousy? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Possibly. Or it might be something where it's like... You know, you know how when you hear like program drums or something like that, you're like, oh, that's that's a drum machine because yeah. like everything's so perfect There's and no like stars left exactly in on time. It would just be like, oh yeah, that's just a corklax did that. <laughs> so it, it would just sound like so robotic that we probably wouldn't. I don't know. At least for artistic stuff. But what if they were so like perfect and good that they knew how to make it sound like perfectly human and like just likable? They knew how to throw in the human errors that were just. But they weren't so bad that they ruined it. I mean, at that point, then it would- then it might just be, like, weird. Then it might just- <laughs> that might be like having a printer that, like... You know what I mean? But the aliens are super cool and chill, and they're- they're like, Oh, we don't even know what fucking, like, war is. We don't even know why people they don't get know, jealous. They don't even know what jealousy and war are anymore. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just so nice and likable and perfect. We might hate him. I don't know. You'd hate him because you're a dick. No, I, hate I you were the one that fucking asserted that we'd hate them in the first place. No, I'm saying that most humans would. Because most humans are petty and jealous. Maybe. I, I do think, like, if there was an alien that <clears throat> could run 50 miles per hour, you reasonably wouldn't let it compete in the Olympics. <laughs> that's, that's my only point. Well, why not? Because it'd just win. So? Doesn't it deserve to? <laughs> I don't know, that was the question, right? Mario comes in and he's better at everything than all these fucking penguins. You're excluding the poor alien, Does well. he deserve their gold medal? You're I'm just- I'm just arguing that perhaps He never did not. drugs, he never did anything wrong. No, but he's different. He's a different thing, he should be in his own division. Uh-huh. And I guess technically if he's the only competitor, he would win the gold in that too, but it'd be different! You're such a monster, I can't believe this <laughs> I, shit. I have never said anything <laughs> bad. <laughs> this is horrible. I don't even know what I'm doing right now, what am I You're doing? You're trying to fight King Caliente. Who yeah, the fuck is that supposed to be? Oh, you wish you knew. Use the pipe on the other side. <gasps> I was so foolish. The you other didn't side. even know. Oh, the fucking... Oh, I forgot that it's hell? gravity and stuff. You're in the little house. I should have come in here from the start. <gasps> See, Tomar? Follow good. the boy beats! Oh, it's playing the classic. Do, 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 do. Complete with Looney Tunes bopping sound effects. <laughs> I'm making but it go ahead and yeah, sing. I was gonna say, if you don't run through them perfectly, you fuck up the tempo. <laughs> I don't even need this fucking spare life. Get out of there. Off you go. Oh! <gasps> Fuck. 